Hello! In this video, we will have uh, mock test questions for you to practice with, uh, and also sample answers. The videos will be separate, but you can follow the link, and good luck! What wild animals do you like most? Hmm, that's a tough choice. While not the most spectacular, I would say deer are the wild animals I like most. They're commonly found in wooded, wooded areas and mountains, so I see them with some regularity. Even though it's common to see deer, each time I notice how gracefully they move and how peacefully they exist with nature. Have you ever seen any wild animals before? Yeah, so beyond the deer from my previous answer, I remember seeing a bear in a national park in my home country a few years ago. From a distance, they looked furry and cute, but I didn't dare get too close. Do you like to go to the zoo? Hmm, I think I have mixed feelings about zoos. On the one hand, it's fascinating to be able to see animals from different parts of the world, and I'm sure zoos take good care of them. On the other hand, I feel a touch of sadness thinking of animals' lives in confined spaces that are so different from their natural habitat. Have you ever kept pets? I sure have. Growing up, my family had a few cats and a few dogs. Not all at the same time, of course, but there were always a few furry friends to make life interesting. I don't have a pet now, but I look forward to getting one in the near future. I would like to talk about a time when I worked in a group during my final year of university. It was for a major project in our business management course, which required us to develop, to develop a comprehensive business plan for a hypothetical startup. There were four of us in the group. We were all classmates and had previously collaborated on smaller assignments. So we were familiar with each other's strengths and working styles. Even now, many years later, we still keep in touch with each other. Working in a group was essential for this project due to its complexity and the amount of work involved. It allowed us to pool our knowledge, skills, and ideas to create more robust and well-rounded business plan. By collaborating, we could leverage our diverse perspectives and expertise in different areas such as marketing, finance, and operations. Working in a group enabled us to distribute the workload effectively. We divided the task based on individual strengths and interests, ensuring that each member could contribute their best to the project. We saw each other regularly on campus, so we were able to coordinate our efforts, share progress updates, and address any challenges or obstacles that arose along the way. That said, there were a few points of tension when not everyone agreed on a specific feature of our proposals. And at one time, a group member didn't understand what he was supposed to do, which caused us to have to do extra work. This is an unavoidable part of group projects, though. Overall, I found the experience of working in a group to be rewarding. It provided an opportunity to learn from my teammates and gain insights into different approaches to problem solving. It also taught me the importance of collaboration, teamwork, and effective communication in achieving a common goal. Working in a group allowed us all to develop essential interpersonal and leadership skills. It required active listening, compromise, and the ability to motivate and delegate tasks, all of which are essential skills for professional life. Overall, working in a group for the university project was a valuable experience that enhanced my teamwork and project management skills. It reinforces the notion that collaboration and cooperation can lead to better outcomes than individual efforts alone. Do you think it is important for kids to join a team? Yes, I do. Playing team sports or doing team projects in school helps children develop valuable skills. For instance, they learn to collaborate and communicate effectively. Being part of a team also helps kids build friendships, social connections, and empathy. Kids might also learn discipline and responsibility through working on a team. All of these are important skills, suggesting that joining a team is good for kids. Is the role of a leader important in a group? Yes, definitely. 
A leader serves as a guide, motivator, and facilitator, ensuring that the group stays focused, organized, and productive. Good leaders also facilitate effective communication, resolve conflicts, and make informed decisions that benefit the group as a whole. Even when a group doesn't have an official leader, often someone in the group will step up and assume these duties. I think for most people, they feel comfortable if they're aware of the hierarchy as it tells them how to act and what's expected of them. What personalities should a good leader have? Firstly, they should be knowledgeable and competent in the field or domain in which they lead. This expertise earns them respect and enables them to guide and mentor others effectively. Good communication skills are also essential as leaders need to articulate their ideas clearly, listen attentively, and ensure that everyone understands the vision and goals. Furthermore, a good leader should be approachable, open to feedback, and capable of making fair and unbiased decisions. Can everyone become a leader? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Let me think. I suppose that leadership, like so many other things, can be learned through study and practice. If this is true, then essentially anybody could become a leader if they commit to developing the skills. At the same time, I suspect that certain people are more drawn to leadership roles. It's hard to summarize in a few sentences, but I think people's personalities and life experiences cause them to be more or less inclined to seek out leadership roles.